okay, walking through the woods. If you can guess, this is gonna be my next project. So I've acquired this property, I'm gonna build on it. It's gonna take me a few years. And uh, yeah, this is in the, uh, let's just say this is in Western South Carolina near the border of Georgia with Georgia. And uh, this is a chunk of a many hundreds, if not a thousand acre parcel that got that I got a chunk out of. And uh, I was just here with um, the uh, company that has the machine that goes through and does the forestry mulching. And we're gonna clear out uh, three acre section back there. I'm gonna walk back there now near the big creek because there's a small creek that I just came from and uh, it runs into the bigger one. So this is uh, the uh, western property line and it's the only path that we have cut to go down there. So Taking a stroll through the woods. As you can see, it's all really, really thick and there's a lot of uh, underbrush, undergrowth, whatever you call it. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's thick, it's thick stuff. I don't know what kind of plants these are, some kind of bush or something, but complete with the fire ants. Got plenty of those. So, all this from roughly roughly about here all the way back to the creek we're gonna have cut down it's gonna be a uh maybe a three or four acre area so we're gonna have it all cleared out and uh just right now, walking to the big creek, I have to see the extent of the um, the beavers, what the beavers have done, if they've dammed the thing back up again. So that's basically it. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next few years. I'll still tinker around with radios and all that kind of stuff, but I'm probably going to just make another channel for the home building exploits. And, uh, you know, I'll probably put it when I get that started up, I'll put a link, you know, somewhere so that people can see it. But that's what I've been up to, you know, just um, working on acquiring the property. Uh, and now I'm working on getting the property cleared so that we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, get started. So. Here is the creek, the big one. And I don't see the water flowing too good, so I suspect the beavers have, yeah, the beavers have, uh, upstream, the beavers have done a number on it, so. Yeah, some water flowing in there, but it's, it's down. I haven't been out here for a while, so it's down, the beavers have gotten to it. I'm not going to be bothered with it today. I'm just going to leave it be. But all this, I'm going to clear all this out. About three, four acres worth. Uh, things I'm going to build on it. House. Uh, we think we might build two houses on it. It's sort of how it depends on how we feel. Um, we might just build two houses, be done with it. You know, I tried to cut through to the other side, hence the blue ribbons. And uh, I was um, unsuccessful at doing so. That's why we need the forestry mulcher to come back in here and, and just drive through here and just grind it all down. So since my path that I've cleared through, you can see we've been following what, what I thought were animals paths and I believe they are um, 
So we kind of followed those and just cleared them a little bit more till we got back here and uh, tried to go through that. And that was like the impossible dream because that stuff is so thick back there that no amount of macheteing and using the uh, the brush cutting attachment on a uh, on a weed eater will take this stuff down. That's how thick it is. And the reason that we think it's so thick is there may be another stream hidden in there that we can't see. So when we think it's flowing from up where I came across a wet spot, we think there might be a natural spring and it's flowing down and through here and it's thick because of it. So gentlemen and ladies, this is what I will be doing. Here and there, I'll tinker with the radio stuff still. Um, but other than that, this is what's going to take up a lot of my time. So um, feel free to ask questions. Um, and uh, I guess I will catch you, uh, catch you guys on the flip side.